hello everyone i hope everyone is doing great so today in this video i'll be sharing my interview experience with ncr corporation so if anyone is looking out for want to know like uh, what kind of interview questions they can expect or what is the interview process for an experienced guy at ncr corporation then this video will definitely help you or at least guide you so firstly i would like to talk about the interview process here so there were two technical rounds and followed by a manager round and an hr round so the complete interview process like took two days for me like uh the first two technical rounds were on the weekend and the other two rounds the other hr usually the manager round was on a weekday and the hr call was a telephone round and coming to the role for which i was applying it was for a software engineer role the location of the interview was hyderabad and experience level 5 years interview type was both face to face and telephonic like basically hr round was a telephonic round here and interview day was a weekday as well as a weekend so with the help of nokri like i got shortlisted for this interview so this was about the interview process at ncr corporation like there are two technical rounds followed by one manager round and a hr round so before getting into the questions i would like to quickly give a brief introduction of ourselves like who are we and what we do we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews with different mnc's and share our interview experiences through this videos if you are on our channel for the first time you can visit our channel and you can see like there are uh, many mnc interview experiences that we have already shared as you can see on the screen as well so these were the companies which we have already shared and there are many in the queue as we are not getting enough time as we are busy with our own schedules so we are not able to create the videos frequently so please do subscribe to catch all the updates so that you don't miss any latest videos so this was a short introduction of ourselves and coming to the question the first question was what is apache kafka when it is used the next question was what is producer consumer partition topic broker and zookeeper while using kafka like basically what are these terms stand for in apache kafka so the next question is how does a servlet work and what are the different life cycle methods of a servlet and one thing is like we have stopped sharing the answers because once we are answering to the questions there are like lot of mails and comments we get saying even this way we can explain the answer so for that reason we are not explaining the answers here so you can google it if you don't know or else mostly like we'll be knowing if you are an experienced candidate but if you don't know like please google it the next question is what is the difference between map and a flat map the next question is what is boxed stream next question explain spring core and stereotype annotations then there was a question on why spring introduced at the red controller when this job could be done by using at the red controller and at the red response body so have to explain why it was introduced what work it was doing coming to the next question what is the difference between at the red spring boot application and at the red enable auto configuration and one more thing guys uh, i have mixed all the interview questions like from round 1 and round 2 and i am sharing this questions the next question here is what happens when we call spring application dot run method in the main class of spring boot application or how would, what will happen when we start a spring boot application internally and the next question was i want to run a thread for some fixed amount of time if it is not completed within that time i want to either kill it or throw some exception how to do it to be honest i was not able to 
answer this question can we create a deadlock without thread in java as far my knowledge we cannot create it but don't please comment sir, like, on this as well like, as far as i know we cannot create a deadlock situation without help of threads for sure let me know if we can create that as well explain the difference between class dot for name and class dot for name dot new instance methods so i have to explain the differences here the next question is what is the difference between ssl and tls next question what is the improvement in g1 gc in java 10 so to be honest i was not aware of the features on java 10 itself so was unable to answer this as well so said the same thing like i'm not aware of the improvement that has been made here the next question is how does https works so explain how https works here what is hibernate proxy was the next question can a thread acquire multiple locks at the same time and how so demonstrated this one how many types of containers are there in spring framework so coming to the next question what is the difference between at request param and at request attribute what are the steps to use spring boot starter cache so was not aware on this as well so unable to answer this question explain the use case with example where at the red bean is more beneficial to use than at the red component if you have worked on this it would be a dead easy question for you to answer the next question is what is serverless architecture why car array is preferred over string for sort storing password so basic question still they have asked me sort list of employee objects using designation then age and then salary what is static import in java how to use it and what was the benefit we were getting when we use static import how to handle transaction in spring so there are two ways you can follow any approach differences between collection api and stream api so these were the questions that were asked to me in my two technical interviews like both one and two then in the next section i'll be explaining you like what are the interview questions that were asked to me in my manager round the first question was is it okay for you to work on legacy technologies so please be sure when you are answering because once you step in you may asked to work on the legacy technology which won't be that helpful for you in your future so please be sure while answering this question why do you want to join us so give some random example and give some some reason to for this why are you leaving your current organization so have your own answers prepared for this like definitely for experienced candidates these are very important questions i would say the way we handle it decides whether we are in or out of the interview is it okay for you to work on weekends another tricky questions used by managers be very sure when you are answering this because once you enter it many times we will managers will ask us to work on weekends or at least support on from home like these days we are having work from home itself but still be sure the next question is what was your last rating so i blindly say the best rating whatever organization i am working in what is the best rating there i always say that so it's up to you how you answer this because so these were the questions that were asked to me in my manager round and coming to the feedback the interview was very good everyone was really very professional like after my manager round uh, an hr call happened hr called me to discuss my package so there was good uh, amount of hike i was getting so coming to the feedback feedback is really positive i would say salary offered was more than 50% hike i was getting 
and interview conducted month was Jan 2019 so that's it for this video so if you like the video you can subscribe comment share or provide us the feedback in the mail and you can see in the description as well there are links to different interview experiences and thank you for watching why do we ask our viewers to share subscribers the reason for asking is that there are n number of interview questions that we have already shared and there are many other interview experiences or interview questions which are there in the queue if you subscribe us uh, you will not miss any of the updates that we are publishing and one more thing is like we are working with uh, different members like with our friends who work on different technology stack like dotnet devops aws salesforce and very soon we will be sharing the interview experiences of on those technologies as well why do we ask our viewers or subscribers to share our videos the reason for starting this channel was to share real time interview experiences a few years back when we were trying to switch our company we were not finding out a, a perfect answer like uh, what is the interview process at a respective company or what kind of interview con uh, like interview questions we may encounter in the interview at that company or how much salary we can expect there like how much we can say like what we can expect there so we were not finding it on any site even on the sites like glassdoor we were not able to find the complete picture there so we have started this channel and why we ask you to share is and we believe that there are many other like us who want to know like similar kind of things so if you share this video somewhere someone will get an idea on the interview process or type of questions they are going to encounter in the interview and how much salary they can expect there so that is the reason we ask you to share our videos